Hi everyone, my name is Josh and I'm with the Biomedical Engineering Department at Worcester Polytechnic Institute and I'm here to show you how to turn on and to effectively run the software that runs our model 5544 Instron. The first step in turning on the Instron is, surprisingly enough, going and hitting the power button in the Instron. And that is located in the back right hand corner of the Instron. The way to tell that it's turned on is you'll hear the machine kind of gear up as well as the control panel will start to light up. Now while this boots up, which takes about 30 seconds or so, what you should do is log into the computer that's attached to the Instron. That's what I'll do right now. So this has probably been enough time for the system to fully boot up. So what you're going to want to do is log into the Blue Hill software at this point. Blue Hill, which is located on the screen, it has a picture of two guys pulling a rope against each other, is the software that will run the Instron. This is the Instron page once I have launched the program from the desktop. What I'm going to do here is log in and I will use uh, the BME class login to do so. Now that I am logged into my account on the software, I want to run a test. And that is done by going to the test option at the top of Blue Hill. This will come up with previously used, recently used methods, as well as you can browse right here for other methods that might not have been used, recently used. And I will choose this Leather 2 um, example from class. I want to select Next. And this is where you can create your file name as well as your output folder. In order to change your output folder, you want to make sure you go to Browse, and that will allow you to do that. I would suggest saving files to a specific folder that you have on your desktop for ease of use. And this is where you wanted to enter in your specific parameters for your test. You could do so, but let's just imagine for the sake of this example video that we already ran our, our test. Once we've run our test, we want to go to finish, which is signified by the checkered flag. Once you hit finish and then hit finish sample as well, it will allow you to save your file, which as I suggested I would do to your desktop. And I will file this as example. and you would be prompted if you wanted to run a new sample using the same set of test parameters. So if you're looking to change and do a different, say, leather strap, you could do so by hitting yes. But I'm not going to do that for this example. Now that I am done trying to use the Blue Hill software, I want to go back home to the home button at the top left-hand corner of the screen where it says Blue Hill. And in order to close out the Blue Hill software without it ruining the Instron, we need to do close the Instron, the Blue Hill software, one way. And it's using exit at the bottom of the screen. If you hit X at the top right hand corner of the screen, it will not work and it will uh, damage the Instron. So please do not do that. By hitting exit at the bottom, I am able to log out of Instron, Blue Hill.